Hey everyone, it's Adrienne and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my fitness routine for the winter time slash fitness life hacks that I've been loving lately. I feel like I'm kind of kicking it old school YouTube right now with the like fitness routine thing. Haven't done one since last winter. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see some awesome pictures and more behind the scenes of my daily life. I just got a drone so I've been posting some amazing drone photos to so go follow that. Thank you so much to High Mirror for sponsoring this video. The High Mirror and the Smart Body Scale is like crazy technology that I am so excited to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I do most mornings and definitely before I work out is go into my bathroom and stand in front of my high mirror, which is the world's first smart beauty mirror. And I stand on my smart body scale to track my current complexion as well as my weight, my body mass index, and current fitness goals. What's awesome is the mirror senses your movement and allows for easy login because it recognizes your face. But don't worry, there's a manual camera cover so the camera isn't always on you. Lately, I haven't been doing anything without listening to music. So right away, I turn on Spotify through my smart mirror and it's also a quick to give me weather and UV updates, so I know if it's a sunscreen kind of day, but let's be honest, this is LA, so it's always a sunscreen kind of day. When I feel left out, so Next, I like to take a makeup-free photo of my face every morning so that the high mirror can detect my dark spots, red spots, pores, etc. From here, it creates a personalized evaluation of my skin, which really helps me to improve my complexion and be using the right products on my face and get my skincare routine down. The high mirror also comes with the smart body scale, which is great for people who want to control their weight or track their fitness progress with a lot more info than just body fat percentage. So standing on this every day will do the same kind of analysis, but for your body. If you guys are interested in purchasing the high mirror, there is a holiday sale going on right now where you can get 15% off the high mirror and body scale bundle. It normally retails for $189 and the smart body scale for $79, but now you can get both for $229. Both are exclusively available online at highmirror.com with a 30 day money back guarantee. So it's definitely worth trying out because you can always return it. So the next step in my workout routine is obviously to create a workout playlist because I seriously can't move my legs or do anything active if I don't have music playing. It's kind of a problem, but all I do is create the perfect workout playlist and I like to make one that lasts the same amount of time that I want to work out and yeah, it's super helpful. And then it's time to actually work out. Now, if it's nice outside, I like to run outside, although I normally don't wear vans, obviously. If it's not nice, I like to go to a gym. And another thing you can do is sign up for workout classes because they really keep you accountable to actually working out since you have to pay for them. And a lot of classes will actually charge a fee if you don't show up. So that is another tip. I like to do interval training, so I do cardio and abs. Another thing I've been doing that has really drastically helped with my skin and weight loss and just feeling overall healthy is drink a ton of water. Now, it is recommended to drink 8 glasses of 8 ounces a day, which is kind of a lot, but it's worth it. My next tip is that no matter what you do, you should work out always on Mondays. It really helps to set the precedent for the week, and you usually have the most energy at the beginning of the week anyway. I also really like to set some workout goals for myself. Actually physically writing down your goals helps to keep you accountable. And another thing is if you are busy and don't have a lot of time to work out, don't be afraid to do workouts in your own bedroom before bed. Apparently working out before bed helps you to burn at least 100 calories in your sleep, which I think is absolutely crazy, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, you guys, that is all for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe for more weekly videos. If you guys wanna see my last video, go ahead and click the annotation right here and I will see you guys in my next video.